Okay, so what's up? No. Welcome back to the Backwood Boys channel. And today, we'll be discussing knives. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Okay, so, um, I'm going to be talking about some knives today I got. I'm a knife collector, so I collect knives, so it's one of the things I like to collect. Okay, so let's get into the first one here. Um, this one's got my name on it. And, uh, pretty cool. You now this is broken, unfortunately, on the back. The glue got old and just fell off. So, um, I might try to take some glue and reapply it. I'm sure if I could do that, but, um, Got like knives and multi tools in it. Not too much. Good. Next, biggest one. I think fell off again. This one is like a shotgun shell. Pretty cool. This one is sharp. You can see it says Winchester. So pretty cool stuff. You have to be careful when closing these because these are tight and pop down pretty good. So you don't want to get your finger caught in that. Okay, so I guess I go to this pocket knife right here. This is my first pocket knife. And just, it's just kind of simple. It's charade. It's, they're still made in the U.S., I believe. And um, pretty cool. Cuts pretty good. I believe I used this 8th grade and then 7th through 8th grade. And then I got this bigger one over here. So, speaking of that bigger one, got this one. This is not a switch play, this is spring loaded. Switch play lives are illegal in here in Alabama, I believe. And um there's a certain length too, because that they kinda do it like this, the palm with your hand. If it's bigger than that, you can either get arrested and the knife gets taken. So um yeah, this just says Battle of Blue Gale Mountain. Pretty cool knife. This is my knife I usually carry now. It's got a clip on the side of it so I can hook it to the side of my pants. This one right here. This one. this one I can wear around my neck and um yeah. it's going on backwards. I can either hook it around my neck or on the side of the belt right there because there's like a clip right there, which is pretty cool. Kind of got a skull on it. You have to hold the sheath and pull this out because if you pull it like this, it will break the beads and then you will have a problem. My wife here's a knife, it's a pretty small one. I thought about taking some paracord and wrapping around this part that this is sharp. Um, by the way, I do have a Barry Rose knife, kind of like this somewhere, but it's a little bit bigger. And it actually didn't cut a hole in my best sheet, because it was a lot sharper than I thought it was. So I do not recommend you learning knives down your best sheet. So, kind of learn from my mistakes. This is a sock knife, so. Sock makes pretty good knives. Shotgun shell one. This one I got for Christmas. It's also a charade. And, um. Now these ones, you need to be careful while opening. So I try to open this one and the knife poked through the side of the thing and cut my hand. These are razor sharp, so you might want to be careful when opening these. But and that's got language. It's leather, pretty good knife. It's got a pretty good sheath because most knives have bad sheaths. So um, not really fancy, pretty cool. So um, we get to this one right here. Speaking of crappy ass sheaths, this is a Kit Carson knife. Okay, so, oh, sorry, my phone cut off on me. You don't do that sometimes. But, anyways, get back to this Kit Carson knife. I'm at the 70s. Pretty good knife. Got, I like the handle. Kind of the old like antler wood grain and kind of stuff. Pretty nice. Now, I got this used and the blade was pretty rusty, so. So, me and some little bit of help from my daddy, we kind of sanded all that down, got it nice and shiny and. It looks pretty good. Now the problem is when you get to the sheath. Uh, this sheath is plastic. Like I said, a lot of good dyes come with really crappy ass sheaths. So, um, yeah. And this snap right here that is supposed to snap around the handle of the knife is broke. So it don't really work. So that's kind of unfortunate. So, um, 
idiot. This does not work. It's broke, so. But getting to a good knot with maybe a little bit of a better sheath. Now, this part is not as good, which I'll show you in just a minute. But, um, this is my, one of my main survival knives. This is a Gerber knife. Gerber makes good knives. This is sharp as well. Like I said, I, I had a Bear Grylls Gerber knife, which I just want to cut my bed sheet with. I just said a minute ago. But, um, yeah, pretty good knife. But a fairly decent sheath. This is plastic. And you can take this part off and hook this around the back of your belt. But, um, I just can't keep this on here. Pretty good. I put this on the bottom right here. And you use the bomb to like break glass, you know, that kind of stuff. So, let me sheet this one back up. When you pull this out of the sheet, you don't do like this. You put your thumb on this and it comes out. Yeah, I don't have a thought with this. And snap, which this one works on like that kick or something off. Okay. Okay, let's get into this right here. This is not a knife, actually. This is a hatchet. Now, the only thing I like about these hatchets is they're hard to get out of the sheath without cutting yourself. <laughs> oh, this is a sheath, not very good material. But, um, hatchet. Pretty cool. Now, this one, now a lot of the new hatchets you get new nowadays come with like a, like a saw or a little knife that goes to the bottom. But when I got this, that's before they started putting those in there, so it's kind of just like something it's just a holding bomb. But there's a magnet right there for it. But, um, you see, there's some of that gloss stuff on there still. That gloss is supposed to help you, like, cut or something. I ain't really sure, but most of it's worn off now because I've used this thing outside on, on tree stumps and every other thing. So, yeah, in the back double is a hammer when you're hammering stuff. So, pretty cool. You know, getting in the sheath is the problem. You have to really watch your hands trying to get this in here. Ooh. Almost got myself again. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't like about the, the sheath. The harder to get in and get out. Especially when you have it on your belt. When you have it on your belt, that's a big problem. Okay. Now, probably my biggest knife, which I've actually done a video on this knife before. Oh, which is this big, big Bowie knife. I did a video on this. The box is right there, but I got. A pile of shit on top of it, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna show the box off. I showed it in another video, so if you want to go look at that, go look at that video. But um, this is a pretty big knife, <laughs> and uh, movie knives were this size back in the western days, people would carry these around. This is a knife I would hate to get stacked with because you know that would do a lot of damage. So, um, I mean, just like how big it is compared to my head, <laughs> it's a big knife. And a pretty good, decent sheath, made out of leather. Snap works, everything. And uh, you just put this on your uh, belt. When I have this on my belt, this goes all down to my knee almost. And um, pretty heavy, pretty good knife. Pretty sharp, too. Not as sharp as the other knives, I will say that. They don't cut as good as some of the other ones. But um, yeah, pretty good, pretty nice handle. I think brass. Put it in the sheath, like so. Snap the snap right there. And it works. All right, so that's all my collection of knives and that kind of stuff. Now, um, some of them did come with some pretty crappy sheaths. I will say that a lot of good knives you get do. But um, I, I like to collect knives. I collect a lot of things and stuff like that. So, um, you know, some of these I will recommend, but uh, some of them are kind of more weak recommends. Like the Kit Carson knife, now that one is, yeah, I would recommend the knife, but the sheath kind of, uh, makes you recommend it a little bit weaker because it's made out of plastic and ain't no good, so, and it's also broke. Place, so. Now my favorite knife I'll probably recommend is that big Bowie knife, and the, the pocket knife, the Confederate flag one, I recommend those two. They make them all kinds of different styles, I just chose that one because that one was a little cool to me. And, um. Not much more to say after that, but <coughs> shout outs to uh, Ashton Light, M.A. Voltaire, The Piney Boys, Corey's Willfield Students, Mojo Warren, Outlaw, Rednet TV, which is now Kendall TV. He changed his name, so shout out to that one. 
and slash of slash the fox. I ain't forget nobody. Shout out to Jeff Linden Service. I think that's it. So just shout out to all the channels I just said, and uh, thank you for watching and. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, like me on Facebook, and Snapchat, and all that good stuff. And, um, thank you for watching.